at JP Shaman hashtag situation updates. I'm standing outside of the chill spot restaurant, bar, and lounge, home of our very own stress therapy Sunday's karaoke party. Because this morning, owner operator here, uh, well, we call him Lance Oliver, he again was targeted in the police raids that were mentioned in the New Democratic Party's address that was broadcast live on Facebook last evening. We learn of raids by the police, black squad heavily armed, black squad officers. That's today, August 7th, 2021. The first news we heard was of heavily armed black squad officers arriving at the home of Tyrone James, the General Secretary of the New Democratic Party. He was not there, but they would subsequently go back. Throughout the afternoon, there were raids on the homes of at least 10 persons that we are aware of. 10 persons. They include as I said, NDP General Secretary Tyron James, the New Democratic Party's host of the New Time program, and the moderator of this press conference, Mr. Colin Graham, businessman Lawrence Oliver, Lucid King, Patches Knight, Mr. Drew De Silva. Kenson King, Mr. Keisha Williams, and also Adriana King. The only thing that these persons have in common is that they are perceived to be persons who are directly involved in The demonstration in Kingston last Thursday. There's no indication whatsoever at that time, and none know that any of these persons have committed any offense. No, um, from the information we received, basically, yesterday the police were looking for uh, Lance, but were unable to find him. And this morning, they returned from him at the place of business. And uh, at the end of their search of the premises, they took away his um, licensed firearm. Uh, we are unable to ascertain at this point what reason, if any at all, were given um, for, for, for that particular move. Uh, but word from his lawyer uh, is that it's basically an arbitrary, politically vindictive move. We caught up by telephone with Commissioner of Police Colin John, who had this to say. Well, one thing about race, I know the police receive information about um, certain persons who may be in person of fire. Mm -hmm. I mean, they and the police conduct the search on the first hour. I don't know anything about race and um, targeting any supporters. Okay, and I'm, I'm told this morning um, Lance Oliver at Chills, but his, his licensed firearm was removed without other reason. Can you offer any comment on that? Well, the, well, the commission has reason to believe that there's a possibility of an offense being committed by a license of fire holder. He can have a preventative measure um, for the fire. Okay. Uh, are you able to go on record as to what that, that particular... Uh, 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 the matter is subject of investigation and I think that was given as a commission that so far, of all the other persons who are targeted, uh, no other reports have come in as to uh, for the police attention. Kenson King, one of the persons of interest in these police operations, shared this reaction with at JP Shimon, hashtag situation updates. So, um, I, <laughs> I really have to laugh. Are we living in a democracy? Are we really living in a democracy? Um, 
can you imagine that right now the government is using just style, style um, tactics to what intimidate um put a, 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 a um throw something into the spokes of the wheel of 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 the the um the protests and so forth that are going on these are not opposition protests these protests are geared towards bringing sensitization to people you know we are sensitizing people about the issues in the country you have 95 million dollars being missing you have you have uh, that the government cannot account for you have them changing the law so that your constitutional rights you know um are literally being stripped away and then nobody must say anything and now because they feel that people are waking up to the nonsense you decide to go after the people just like the, the slave masters did on the um on the plantation you know you know the strong ones and the leaders go and take and, and take them out and so the rest will be scared but not this time we are like to say loverture you can chop down the tree but the roots are already buried deep so somebody else will rise up so when you take away um when you go to to lance who, who runs um chill spot and take away his weapon his license gun that he has for his business and, and protection just because you deem him an opposition an opposition um, supporter all because why he has provided food as a business to the protesters he didn't do it for free it was paid for it's a business that he conducts and if people don't see this as a threat to democracy i don't know again what this government has to do for people to realize that this government here right now is a threat to democracy